So we are going to record a video on how to use um, input masks and validation rules in Access. We've got a database with a table uh, which will we, we will open in design view. You can see we have several fields. If we click on each field, uh, this one for example, we've set a, an input mask. Uh, input masks define the format that the user can input data in. For example, L means that he must input must input um, um, a letter zero means that he must enter uh, a number so if we we can close this view we can open the uh, we can open the table and if we try to input something here you will see that you can you cannot write anything else, you can only write two digits and you can only write, if I try a number, it won't allow me. It, won't, it will allow me to write one letter there, it won't allow me to write anything except a number there. So it's the format, the kind of characters and the number of characters that the user can input. Um, if uh, this will force the user to, to write one letter and one number, if they can write, uh, if they can input, uh, uh, if they not, must not input a number, they can or, or cannot input a number, we have to use, um, we can use another code, for example, if we put a 9 here, uh, and we save it, or we save it, and we close it, then we open it back again, if we go here, I, I can still write only uh, a letter there, but I can write I can write a, a number there, but I don't have to. So I can I could save it like that. I could save it, and this would be no problem. Okay. Uh, however, if I change that, if I change that, so that you see the difference. If we change the code to an L0 and saved it, and now we uh, we go back and open the table, now I can write a number here, and if I try to save it, it won't let me, because it, it has a, an L0, it, it, I have to put a number, that's the difference between must or must not. So. I have to put a number there. Okay, you can see the masks in the online academy. So n zero, they must enter a digit. Nine, they can or cannot. It's optional. Uh, with a hash, you can en en enter a digit, a space, plus, minus sign, whatever. Um, L, you must enter a letter. The, inter the interrogation mark, can you can enter a letter. Those are the ones that you will use most. Uh, if you want to combine letters and digits, it's that. Um, and the spaces and characters are that, that. The other, these are the ones that you will use most, so learn them. Uh, the other one that you will use is how to change uppercase and lowercase. Um, so, um, so I can, and uh, maybe the, the exclamation mark. So I can, for example, if I if I saved this, I went to the sign view and I said, I want anything that the user inputs changed to lower, to uppercase. And now I save it. Even though I am pressing, you don't see it, but even though I am pressing the, uh, here, the, lowercase f it will go to an uppercase it changes everything into an uppercase okay um, now if uh, you see how, how if I go to a new field it starts on the right if I go to the design view and I put an exclamation mark and save it if I go to a new field
So that that's the mask. Uh, the important part is that you have to uh, fit it in. It, it only affects the format and the kind of characters that the user can can input. Okay. Um, I will go now into the design view, and now we can see the. Um, now we can see the um, the validation rule. Okay, so for example, um, for the validation rule, you can use the expression wizard, um, and uh, the the validation text is the text that will pop up and tell the user if uh, it it, uh, it is correct or not. For example, if I use a phone number and I don't want the numbers to be less than 100, for example. Um, I can um, I can uh, um, I can use this okay so if I save that Always remember that the, when you add a validation rule, it will go over your current data. So make sure that your current data does not have any number that uh, uh, does not uh, does that is invalid with your validation rule. Okay. So I will say yes. See, existing uh, data violates the the rule. I I don't care. I will say yes here now. So I'll close. I'll open. Okay, uh, so now I I can add a new a new field, and in the phone number I will put a nine here, which is okay, and here I will put two thousand, and it will say please use a number which is less than a hundred. Okay, so because that number does not. Um, that number does uh, not uh, uh, does not uh, uh, cannot be validated with my va validation rule, so it won't allow me. I have to correct it. Uh, why did I get the other error before? Because I didn't put numbers here. I could just have inserted a zero, and I would have uh, I would have um, obeyed the, the rule. Okay, so um, that's an easy way. Uh, to create the rules, um, remember uh, validation rules validates the data that you have there and uh, allows me to put a range or um, uh, compare the values that the user inputs and it allows me to put a, a text. The input mask will force the user to put it in a, in a specific format. That's the difference. And you will have to do this probably most exams.